We are happy to announce that we have released an improved e-design suite experience with a new feature, the Power Management Design Center. This tool is designed to help you achieve optimal levels of performance and power efficiency. This video will give you a short tutorial on how to get started with it. Let's dive straight in. eDesign Suite is a free, comprehensive online software tool that helps you quickly find the best solution for your specific application. eDesign Suite helps you specify your application use case, select the right IC or discrete component, analyze how it performs in the selected circuit configuration, refine the design with intuitive simulation iterations, and get ready to build a prototype. It features four components. The new Power Management Design Center for switch mode power converters, a thermoelectrical simulator for Triac AC switchers, field effect rectifier diodes and Schottky diodes, a signal conditioning design tool for simulating multi-stage active falters, comparators, and current sensing circuits, and an NFC RFID antenna design tool. The tool is accessible online at st.com slash eDesignSuite. Now to the new Power Management Design Center. It helps designers accelerate the development process of switch mode power converters in a variety of topologies and configurations. It is suitable for applications like power supplies, LED lighting and digital power. While accessing our wide range of ICs and discretes, it will allow you to quickly move to the prototyping phase. Let's give you a quick tour. With the Power Supply Design Tool, you can choose from three component categories, DC-DC converters, AC-DC converters, and solar battery chargers. Choose the right power converter class for your design. Here, you can define your input and output specifications. You will see a list of suitable products on the right-hand side. You can select one by clicking on it. You can also click on the ST Evaluation Board Selector, which provides a list of all boards matching your I.O. specification. You can refine tolerances, and the tool will automatically add or remove boards matching your criteria. You can use the Feature Selector to include or remove ICs based on additional specification requirements. If you already know the name of the ST device you would like to use for your project, you can type it directly in the search bar. Click on the selected IC for a quick recap of its features. From here, you'll find handy pointers to the datasheet and to the product page on our website for more information. A button gives you convenient access to matching evaluation boards. It's time to start by clicking Start the Design. Then, all default values for the project simulations and specifications are now available. On this dashboard, you'll find an overview of your project specifications, operating conditions, current and voltage waveforms analysis, system efficiency, Bode diagrams, power losses distribution, a complete and interactive bill of materials, At any time, you can change any of your project specifications. You can do this in two different ways. Directly from your project schematic. For instance, let's modify the input stage rectifier. Likewise, let's change the transformer specification. Choose a type between ideal, custom, and commercial. A transformer is automatically selected according to your choice. Review the transformer details and, if needed, manually choose a different one from a list of commercially available devices. You can immediately verify the results of your modifications. You can also review and modify your specifications parameters from the Change Specifications panel. 
At any time, click Autocomplete to let the tool automatically choose the best parameters for your needs. You can also manually customize all aspects of your specification, including input-output specifications, general constraints, input stage, device settings, transformer type, and details. You can verify all clamper net parameters, output stage parameters, and all compensation net specifications. So far, we've seen just one of many project designs available in the Power Management Design Center. Let's choose another class of converter, like a DC-DC converter, and modify it. The Efficiency versus Bomb Slider allows you to set the right trade-off for your project between design efficiency and reduced bill of materials. The Efficiency and Bomb sections update accordingly. The Power Management Design Center also introduces a brand new feature, the Digital Power Workbench. Users can evaluate, analyze, and customize an LLC converter design with full digital control through the STM32F334 microcontroller. Select it. A default configuration is immediately available. The dashboard gives you control over many of the project's features. You can change input-output voltage and current values. Adjust HV MOSFET selections in the SwitchNet section. Refine resonant tank parameters. Select LV MOSFETs in the Rectifier section. Check and modify firmware control parameters. Once your design requirements are met, you can download the firmware source code for the target STM32 microcontroller. Another important feature allows you to download an ORCAD file of the whole project design directly to your PC and start the hardware prototyping. It's now time to save your project. A project repository will be created in your MyST workspace. Simply give it a name and a description. You can also download your design or just the bill of materials to your own PC. Finally, you can restore the previous version of your design. There are different ways you can access the eDesign Suite. You can directly load the eDesign Suite console at eds.st.com. You can also visit the eDesign Suite homepage at st.com slash eDesign Suite. In addition to more detailed information, you can launch the app and start a design. You can also expand the tools and software widget on st.com. Locate the eDesign Suite entry under Calculators, Selectors, and Simulators. eDesign Suite with the Power Management Design Center. To try it now, head over to st.com slash eDesign Suite.